Alright everybody, cheers and welcome back to the new Instant Screaming. Today's two movies are The Curse of Sleeping Beauty and Deathgasm. Both have been available on Netflix for a while. So let's start off with the, uh, the weaker of the two, The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. So this movie is a uh, dark fantasy twist on the original Sleeping Beauty. A guy inherits his family's apparently cursed property and has unsettling nightmares. He has to have adventures and learn about crazy dark magic and his family's connection to it. I'm going to go on record now that this isn't a good movie. The plot is pretty boring and predictable. The story is a basic dark fairy tale that seems to arbitrarily move from beat to beat without really properly connecting them. Like, stuff just sort of seems to happen because that's what the script said. The whole thing is a bit long and seems to be missing a third act entirely, probably because it's an obvious uh, attempt to set up a series which ultimately leads to somewhat mild dissatisfaction with the whole endeavor. Yeah, the action resolves, but the twist ending teases a much more compelling adventure than the one we got, which I think always leaves an audience wondering why didn't we get that movie instead. <laughs> but here's the thing, The Curse of Sleeping Beauty looks amazing. Practical makeup on display is just great and the set design is a, an awesome funhouse haunted house. It really feels like a really well done haunted attraction where they thought out the story behind the walkthrough and placed all the props deliberately. And what's more is the designs and all the creatures are consistent. They follow a theme that actually makes sense and is motivated in-universe. So there's actually a reason for all the old creepy shit around in the background, rather than it just being there because it's creepy. Deathgasm is a lot of fun. Normally I try to reserve my judgments for after the synopsis, but this is a deliberately silly bitch tongue-in-cheek movie. The, the movie is about an awkward teen metalhead who moves in with his ultra-conservative aunt and uncle. He befriends the local hellion, and they form a metal band. They, uh, they wind up finding some archaic sheet music in the house of a washed-up rocker, and when they play it, it becomes a doom metal song that turns everyone in town into zombies and summons a demon, you know, as, as you do. It's pretty clear the camera work and the gore effects take heavy inspiration from Sam Raimi's original Evil Dead trilogy, mostly uh, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, but with some more crude humor at times. It's not to say the movie is filled with dick and fart jokes, but they definitely go for it when the opportunity presents itself. It's filled with style, gore, and all kinds of heavy metal, so really what's not to like? My only real complaints is that some of the plots seem a bit unneeded and distract from the fun parts of the action, and the metal doesn't always match up. It seems like the characters have very singular tastes, but their band's music is wildly varied. But that is so nitpicky, it's nowhere near enough to actually count against the movie in any way. Anyway, that's it for this week's Instant Screaming. Hopefully that helps you find something to watch this weekend, and uh, see you next week. Cheers! Cheers!